All right, the day has finally come. I have the Scott Boyle in the back. I've got the Juros wheels. I've got the Juros DO2 group set. And we're heading out to Pahe Tour and we're gonna build it today. So we're at Lasky Cycles and we're building it in the workshop, so thanks for him for letting us do that. We've got some derailers on at the moment, but then we also have basically a box of everything that we're gonna be putting on the bike. So we've got some white fabric bar tape, got some Swiss stock carbon brake pads, got some frame protectors, we've got all the electrical wires for the Shimano Di2, we've got a battery, we've also got a bottom bracket, and then just a few more wires and stuff as well. We've also got a set of Durace 9000 cranks here. We're running the running the 5339 chain rings. So only at short notice, so I've also just gonna be running the old Physique Antares saddle that I had on my Cannondale. And I've also got a set of these Shimano Ultegra carbon pedals as well to put on it. So I read a lot of you guys' comments and I went with the white handlebar tape. I do really think it's gonna look good on Scott Foyle. So a few people were saying I should stick with the black and then some people were saying that I should go with orange handlebar tape. I think that that might just be a little bit too much. We don't want the handlebar tape and the rest of the bike to take away from the frame. Cause obviously the frame is like the centerpiece of what we're trying to build here. So we've gone with the white handlebar tape. It's just the white version of the stuff that I've got on my um, Cannondale Super 6 Evo as well. All right, we're in Lasky's little bike den. He's got some pretty cool old bikes up here. He's got like an old Peugeot retro frame here. Many, many bike things in here. But how good does that look? I can't believe how quickly that bike has just gone from being an idea in my head to being repaired, painted, got a group set for it. And then in a matter of a few hours, that bike is gonna be rideable and on the road. This rod. We're basically all done. Maddie's taking it for a bit of a test run. We just tuned up the gears. The last thing to do is put the bar tape on and then it's good to go. That looks so cool. That good enough? Line the decals up. Everything nice and lined up. Can I go now? Yeah.
All right, it is the next day. It got a little bit dark last night. We finished this build about 6.30 and it had gone completely pitch black by then. But yeah, here it is in all its glory. The Scott Foil GT40 build. We've been working on this for about the last probably month and a half and it is finally done. But yeah, I've got to say, I reckon it looks so good. I, I think it actually came out better than I thought it did. But there is one thing that me and Maddie were discussing last night while we were building it. We actually think that it's going to look better without the tan wall tires. So I do have over here my Jura C50s, which do have like the normal black tires. So we're going to chuck these on and we're going to see if they look any better. All right, I'm gonna be honest, I genuinely think it does look a hell of a lot better with the black Durace wheels on it. I think that these tan walls are probably just taking a wee bit away from the paint job, but then when you've just got the black wheels, the frame is really the centerpiece. I think I'm definitely gonna run it with the 50s on, it looks so much better. So then the other thing is, obviously we went with that white handlebar tape, and I think it looks really, really good. I think it was definitely the right decision was to go with the white handlebar tape. But what do you reckon about the physique seat? So obviously this is just a seat that I had lying around, it's obviously got a few rips and stuff in it, which isn't ideal. So do you reckon that we should keep this seat? Or should we upgrade the seat and maybe even a white seat would look good to match the handlebars? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But yeah, that is the end of the build. So, so pleased with how it's come out. This is obviously just how we have it built up now. It doesn't mean that we can't change things. We could go for some white bottle cages. Definitely the white seat. I think the white accents are looking really good. But if you guys have any ideas of what videos you want to see me make with this bike, maybe a 100k an hour challenge, maybe some Strava KOM attempts, let me know what videos you want to see with this bike in the comments down below. But yeah, that is going to be the end of this video. But yeah, this was a super expensive build. So if you enjoyed the series and all the videos, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, it really helps out the channel and it helps fund future projects like this. I really want to do another one of these bike builds in the near future. So please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video when we actually get to ride this beast. <laughs>